What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know we've been kind of ghost lately on YouTube past week and a half. I've been hit up several times uh, as you can imagine because the car has been pretty much ghost off of the internet. What happened to that car? It made 1024 but why did we go silent? Well, what happened? Let's answer that. What happened? We got our mobile media station there. One bag. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Look. Yeah, perfect. It's a Mustang. You fit things back here. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Come on. I don't want to. No. Yeah. That's why I gave them to you. All right, dude. I love these things. They're not that bad. They're not bad at all. Ugh. Oh my gosh. 10 hours in a fixed back seat. Jump in, sit on down, tell them about yourself. Ow, I hit my head. How are you doing? Uh. And just think, this is set up just the way you had it set up in your car. I, I know, but I wasn't ever planning on making 10 hour road trips in these seats. <laughs> Streetcar baby. Streetcar. <laughs> you were jamming. I was jamming. This is getting long. We're going to let it go down to about here. So we're heading to Texas. You're going to rip your twin turbo kit off of this car. Yep, it's done. It's out. Yep, same here with mine. Twin turbo kit that was on my car, gone. Tired. Yeah. Just gonna let it run for 10 minutes, shut down. Yeah. Got that water, that 93 water. This couch is about to feel real good. He is uh, room 302. All right. Oh, look, right there. What's up, Princess? Hello, Why are you still awake? Yeah, he put it in his phone because it was on toll rolls. We were going out there taking pictures. I was like, damn it. My bad. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. We've been in Houston since like 245. <laughs> you got this thing like way cold? I need cold. Well, that's, that ain't gonna do. I might need to crank up the heat again. Oh my gosh. What happens if you put water I got boost in your tank. gas tank? I've got boost. Well, just get ready for the comments. People be like, oh, it wasn't really 93 pump gas. You put boost that you cheated. <coughs> We're going to bed. Good night. The bed's not bad. What's up, guys? <laughs> Good night. What's the oil? Something. What is that? It's, uh, yes, yeah, no shape. <laughs> You're right. You about tripped. You about fell. No, I didn't. I got this. <laughs> it's no shape November. We're letting it grow. November. You gonna let yours grow, bro? On well, me? Yeah, no, I got this. I got this right here. No, man, let it grow, dude. Nah, I'm what are you scared of? I'm about ready to get rid of that. No, 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 no. What are you doing on here? Um, putting stuff on my car. Yeah? Some go fast parts? No. You gonna make, make it slower? slower? Yeah. Hell yeah. Too fucking fast, man. Can't handle it. <laughs> uh, we're here in a familiar place, Disneyland. Hell Horse Performance, surrounded by all these cars. If you guys, like I said, if you missed the last dyno video, we made 1,024 with my car sitting up here on a lift. Now, some things are changing. The old turbo kit is gone, completely removed. We'll never see it again. Getting replaced by the all new Hellhorse twin turbo kit. Uh, new 401 headers are standard. Standard ceramic coating as well. I can't even, I can't. I'm losing my train of thought again. You do it every day. I know. All day. I lose my all day, every day. It's called three hours of sleep. Look, you're putting better parts on, you're going faster. In the discussion. Speaking of going faster, Pumpy 85. Is your fifth time doing that? It is my fifth time doing this. <laughs> we'll get it right. Lack of sleep, guys, like three hours. But luckily, I'm not turning wrenches today, so I don't think I am. I we might. I don't know. The new twin turbo kit, part of it is on. Some of it is going to be delivered uh, this evening, ceramic coated, ready to go. We're going to throw it on the car, show you the fitment. Everything is completely redone. It's basically an entire, it's, it's a whole new turbo kit, guys. Um, out with the old, in with the new. But last night, before we got here, it dynoed at 1097 guys 1100 horsepower it's a stock gen 3 coyote head studded it does have valve springs oil pump gears crank sprocket 
Cometic head gaskets, but that's it. It's a stock body mint, 1100 horsepower. Now that seems really scary, but the thing is, it's just that this this kit's flowing that much more better. So we did 1,024 before. Now we're at 1,100. We have C85 over here sitting up there. That good stuff, that race gas. It's like, why do you keep pointing at stuff? Like, like, something to do. I'm like, I say uh, like five million times. Well, I'll just put the camera right on you, man. What did it make last night? I'm already like <laughs> freaking out right now. Brand new ceramic on. Brand new fresh ceramic coating. We're gonna reinstall it, put some C85 in it, and send it a little bit harder. See what it will do. But yeah, this is the new four to ones. Hopefully the camera will pick this up. So, all ceramic coated as standard. Really cool that you don't have to pay any extra for this. I mean, this is a really budget friendly kit that's making an incredible amount of power. But the way that it fits up here, we have a new angle. Uh, fitment on the turbos the new four to one. What's up? You trying to do your intro? I'm oh man, the kit actually sits higher. You can see right here that it's sitting Pretty much above the K member. So the four to one took it up a little higher Neatly tucks it into position here. So you'll never have to worry about any clearance issues now A lot of guys are concerned about like where the placement of the filters and everything I mean they live pretty high so almost the center of the wheel So if you ever drive in the rain or anything like that, which I have done in thunderstorms, there's no issue There's zero issue with this kit. Don't be afraid of it But you know for a car like mine, I'm not driving in thunderstorms often anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it but um, yeah, all the piping and everything, all the cold side piping will be here this afternoon. Fresh ceramic coating on it. Um, everything is changing, guys. This is, this is crazy, 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 crazy. This car is just not giving up. It keeps going. Absolutely just mind-blowing the power that we're making right now and continuing to improve. But now C85 going to go in the car, and we should see maybe 1150. That's kind of what the goal is, I think. And uh, again, that seems really scary for a stock engine. It's about efficiency. The boost is basically the same as it was before. It's just flowing a lot better. But yeah, Ken, Speed Addict 731, my good friend, is doing the same thing. Same thing on his car. He's getting the same turbo kit upgrades. Out with the old, in with the new. Not with the old, in with the new. Look how sexy that is. I miss this car so much. I can't wait to drive it. Hey, real quick before we get too far in the video. So, um, I've cleared it with Hellhorse, with Jeff, the owner, that if you're interested in one of these kits, instead of using like a discount code or anything like that, I can actually send you an invoice. And believe me, they're affordable. This horsepower is attained for a, a, a very attractive price. It is going to go up the first of the year, as explained to me. But right now, guys, you can, you can get into this kit for... I mean, a little over eight grand. So no, but what I'm saying is, if you got, stop! Uh, links down below, I have an email address listed down below. And No, but seriously, if you want one of these kits, if you're interested, definitely hit. Andrew! All right, but what I'm saying is, blah, 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 blah. No, but seriously, if you're interested in one of these kits, definitely hit me up. Email is down below in the description. Hook you up with a great deal, get you into some boost, and you can make some power. Have some fun. It's all about going fast, guys. All right, yeah, just update the video. Um, here we are, hours later. Ken finally, huh. master mechanic over here, finally huh. got his headers off. Huh. Fresh parts, just delivered, new ceramic coating, and I want to show you exactly what you're going to be getting when you order this kit. What's changed from the old? So here we go over here. So this is an OEM, basically modified header. Nothing too terribly wrong with it, but it's it, it does have some flow restriction i mean it's oem now we have the new four to ones and this is what this looks like brand new freshly ceramic coated and uh the runner design everything is just i mean look at this it's artwork i mean especially compared to that i mean this is okay it gets the job done but it's not this it is not a true four to one this is going to perform so much better we have support there versus so for the added weight for the wastegates hanging off of these, uh, just the extra little bit that goes into the design of all this. Look at the inside, the welds. Everything's perfect on these. Um, wow, well, these look really good. Clean, clean, clean. So you see the support there again. So for the added weight, it's just like those little extra things. So one thing you got to look at compared you got, to something like this. You got two coming out into one, right? Yep. So then the flow gets stopped right here. Correct. Right? Correct. Well, this goes into here. This goes into here. All of it's going into this. Yes. This collector. So it's going right here instead of it coming to here and joining and then can potentially create right. you know, more back pressure. Yep. So 
it's always better. So for valve flow, this is going to solve it too. If you know anybody had that, but this new kit's obviously not. So if you're interested in buying one of these kits, I've worked it out with Hellhorse that I can send you direct invoices. So hit up the email address down in the description and I can get you hooked up. But 1100 horsepower so far, what we're going to do again is finish up the install on my car with a new new ceramic coated parts and uh, he's going to put C85 in the gas tank and see if things improve a little bit more. Cool that we can be able to do this and just show you what the what the, the gains are going to be on a stock Gen 3. So yeah, the numbers are a little bit frightening, but uh, the tune is going to be spot on. The fuel is going to be spot on. Um, we don't want to take any risk there. We want to, you know, get rid of any risk as much as possible. So safe fueling, safe tuning. Let's we'll see what the <laughs> outcome of this is, how much power uh, we're going to be able to achieve tonight. Cross our fingers, nothing bad happens. Sweet. So we got the new parts. Yeah, I already got one down pipe on your car. Oh, wow. You're fast. We got the, the coyote doctor over here, Andrew. So on these uh, lower pipes here, they used to have a, uh, a rubber coupler in between. That is gone now. That's been eliminated. So now we have these straight pieces. This is the new charge pipe here. Looks freaking good. We're going to make some power. We're going to make some power. Race port. Right. Oh, you got one uncoated? Yeah, this is. You almost the, don't want to coat this stuff. I know you don't. <laughs> I'm almost to that point now. I know. Look at look at this. I mean, the whales. He feels the, the same the, way. He's like, ah. I mean, look right at when you coat it, you can't see the all the details. Yeah, they, if we had uh, the option to like clear ceramic, that'd be awesome. I, that. yeah. I know. Yeah, he can tell you all about it. Possible awesome thumbnail. So Joe's basically, here. we have a CNC custom flange. Gotcha. Welded on the inside here for that's the maximum strength, best amount of flow. Okay. Slotted here and up top for easy install for the average garage, you know, installer or shop. Kind of like me. I'm going to do it on jack stands. Right. So all of this is 16 gauge 304 stainless. Okay. Um, and it's all back purged, uh, which you can see. You can see, yeah. Yeah, inside. Like yep. if you can zoom in there, um, you'll see that the insides of the welds look just like the outsides of the Correct. welds. Correct. Yeah, so back purge like it's supposed to be. Exactly. You won't grind you, it yes. out, yep. no nothing. Yep. It's all done pure shape and form. Proprietary flow on the wastegate, which, you know, when the air comes in through here, it's going to hit that back wall and go give the wastegate primary flow for best. The shape. old ones were kind of like split, almost like a, a V almost. Mm -hmm. this, these are a little bit different, more separated. Yeah. It looks better. It looks like it's going to flow a lot better anyway. Yeah, and then it's a transition uh, flange where it smoothly transitions from a two and a half into the T3 port. So look at these. This is, yeah, beautiful, man. I appreciate that showing me that. So that's what we're about to do is get this thing, uh, everything reinstalled. We're going to get everything reinstalled. We're going to throw some C85 in the gas tank. Rob sent a revision last night, and we have Fuel Injector Clinic 1000 cc injectors in the car. Those OPGCS are made by Boundary. So when you're buying oil pump gears, that's the only place that you should go is Boundary oil pumps. So I'm hoping, hopefully they don't blow it up, but uh, we'll see what it does. This looks a lot better. This looks so much better, dude. So this would be nice for anybody because we're actually going to put the, the belly pan back on the car, but this is going to sit flat on top of that. So it'll be a non-issue, but this is really exciting, guys. This is, uh, it's really a whole new turbo kit. So the old one left, this is the new stuff. This is what you'll be buying into that we've been talking about for so long. <laughs> if you've been sticking with every video that we said that the changes were coming, today is that day and uh, it's already made power. We're going to throw C8 in it again and uh, see what the differences there are. But C85, see, C8. what did I say? Did I say C8? Yeah, C8? Corvette. You didn't know this was a Corvette channel? <laughs> And you don't catch it and you go to edit. And then somebody comes in there like comment, he's talking about Corvette stuff. I'm gonna speak all the time. If I don't catch myself filming when I do it. Mira made that Corvette video and I said Z fifty one. No, I know I've said I've said Z seventy one. Yeah, Z seventy one. Z seventy one Corvette? Yeah. You didn't know there was an off road Corvette? Z seventy one? C eighty five. C eighty five. Corvette yeah. gas. <laughs> no, this is this is so this is Mustang. This is the new Corvette. This is C eight, right? <laughs> We're here with Alex too. Two Alexes. My name is Alex. Your name is Alex. But he drove all the way from Tampa, Florida to come hang out with us. Yeah. Really appreciate you honestly coming up all of that way. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you and Thank just you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So um yeah, we've been talking back and forth all day, man. It's yeah, been an absolute pleasure. I mean, I'm 
I'm impressed with what I see here. Um, I'm a fan of the turbo kit. I actually purchased one for myself. Yeah. And uh, I love the improvements that I see. I, I can now appreciate even more and understand the benefits of the new kit. Um, it's impressive. Once uh, it was explained properly, and I know a little bit, I have some background into the turbo kits. Um, for the price point, I just, I, I'm laughing. It's impressive what the numbers I'm seeing from his car um, and the quality of the kit that I'm seeing. Guys, you were about to pull the trigger on a Halion. You have to take the time and actually look at the benefits, the pros and cons, yeah. and appreciate what you are looking to get for your money. So I know we sound like salesmen in this video, but no, honestly, real talk, sub $9,000 right now for 2020, and you're getting standard four to one, which you don't get with the competitors. You're getting standard ceramic coating, which you do not get with the competitors. And you're getting the upgraded comp turbos, comp tri turbo. triple ball bearing. Triple, right. That's impressive. And guys, I, I checked out the turbos. I spooled them up with my own hands. It's impressive. You know, yeah. that's a big plus versus what other kits. You know, the other kits out there are good kits, but dollar per dollar, do your math, do your research, and I'm impressed. So if I'm pretty much eye level, I mean, this is actually sitting right pretty much in line with the composite oil pan here. Uh, nothing is touching there. Everything is perfect. I am very impressed with the angle of design there, the design angle, how much more room we have. And uh, these are completely different wastegates. This is what you're gonna get. And uh, a little bit of a different design and supposedly there's are these are a little bit better i guess a lot more room because before everything was really really tight here but just the angle now they're not straight on like they used to be um, everything is just perfect man so much more room under here i never really covered this uh, i know this is going to be picked up in video somebody's going to say something um, with the old design the old headers it actually sat a little bit lower and i was taking a trip out to see can speed attic and there was a a part of the road would actually kind of like veed up. I tried to avoid it, but I couldn't. I got lucky. It didn't hurt the turbo, but it did gouge out a little bit here. So didn't hurt nothing. We got really lucky, but now that will never be an issue because it would hit K-member first, if anything. You'd hit, you'd tear off your front bumper. These sit even higher up, which is a, again, a, a more, ben, a, a better benefit for anybody that thinks that they want to daily drive this in the rain. I mean, the filters are gonna sit almost like midway up the, the, the wheel and tire there. It's really cool that we were able to find the flaws with the system and then improve upon them. And we, now we have a complete finished product. And uh, again, it's it's sub $9,000 for this kit. It's it's insane for what you get. Four to one header ceramic coated. The fit is higher. It fits higher in the car than like a Hellion kit. And uh, it's just, I can't say enough good things about it, honestly, but are people that are, are <laughs> you all right? Just installing turbos. But when you got the stock K-member and you, you see where it's at now versus where it was at was fine. Yeah. But where it's at now, you, you're gonna, you got more. Yeah, a lot of people may not want to run a BMR K-member. Um, they want to just keep their, their stock ones. So I'm excited to see how it's going to fit with the OEM parts on here. So but we're still running 93, so the guys that don't want to go to E85, or don't have E85 in their uh, area, you can see what does car can do on 93 with the little boost aim. Yep. The reason I use boost aim, and you know, we talk about this, I, I want people to understand, is that I don't use boost aim for like 100 octane to get- It's more two. for protection, honestly, all, all, for, for all clean 93. Exactly. If you're following me, you're probably following Speed Addict 731 over here. But if you're not, Please go check out his channel. I'll link it down below. Go check him out. Very good friend of mine and has helped me out. I mean, more times than I can count, honestly. That's right there. That's like a four uh, local kind of thing. Yeah. Did you, did you oh, yeah. The the guys this is a new Corvette, Corvette fuel, right? <laughs> Corvette fuel. Corvette 85.